As you know, there's no big amount of money in this type of music. You have to love the music. It gets in your blood. Well, you know, as modern old, you gotta love it. But uh, I listened to Bill Monroe from the get go. I thought one day I'd like to like to try a stint with him, but it never came to pass. But uh, it it's a lifelong study, as you know. And now, forty seven years later, still trying to learn more. I don't aim to give it up anytime soon if I never make one more penny at it. Because it's it's just part of, you know how it is, it's just part of what what you live for. What would you think the, how music's changed since you started in the early days, say 80s, <laughs> early 90s to now? I'll try to be as uh, tactful as I can on that. Well, the, in my opinion, this is my opinion, the bands of today, their music don't have the soul, the feel, the drive, that what we knew growing up. Um, and, and the music has to evolve, there's no doubt. You know, nobody wants to hear footprints in the snow for a hundred hundred years and, ne and never change, but you know the the first generation of bluegrass, Bill Monroe, Flatt and Scruggs, Jimmy Martin, all them like that. Those individuals had a strength of character you don't see nowadays. They they were they had a harder way of life growing up, and I think that made them that much stronger. Uh, you can you can hear the conviction in their music that you don't hear nowadays. It's all about glitz and glamour nowadays, in my opinion. I, I don't particularly enjoy the what they're called in bluegrass nowadays. If I had to play what's current just to make a living, I'd, I'd just quit playing. But uh, there's something about, and also all the guys we listened to growing up, you know, Tony Rice, Sam Bush, you know, the, the, what, the second generation, I, I guess you might say, Sam Bush, Tony Rice, uh, of course, J.D. Crow, all those guys like that, the iconic figures. I haven't heard anybody push the envelope past them now. And there, don't get me wrong, there is some unbelievable musicians out there, you know, that Bela Fleck has done this uh, Bluegrass Heart tour and everything. I've never heard such musicianship out of a bunch of guys. I, I'm not throwing them in as ones I'm saying I don't particularly enjoy, because I do enjoy that. But uh, I'm talking about the, the bands. Uh, they, they, they're really highly polished and everything. They're, they're very sophisticated harmonies and such, but it just it does not raise the goose pimples on me like the old guys did. You know, Ralph Stanley, another one, you know. Uh, they they just don't have the same, well, for lack of a better term, the, the same punch and depth and drive the old timers did. Uh, and maybe that's just a part of development. You know, when, like we were talking about earlier when I was playing with uh, Southern Connection, we did a lot of progressive stuff. You know, I, I was quite a bit younger then, you know. Uh, we did a lot of stuff that I probably wouldn't even think of doing nowadays. But we were we were looking for something different. And the music does have to evolve somewhat, but I think a lot of them get too far away from it. And there is a market for traditional bluegrass nowadays, whether people want to admit it or not. You can gauge that by the audience response. You go up here and you do the hard-driving, old traditional stuff, the songs that people knew when they were growing up, and watch your response. But uh, a lot, a lot of newer bands they get up there, you know, after each number. Uh, but you, you play Flat and Scruggs, Monroe, and all that. Don Reno, Red Smiley, some of the things from that era. You, you hear people hollering and whistle at, at, at the end of those numbers. 
Uh, but always gauge. Uh, that's the way I gauge if I'm reaching the crowd or not by their response after each number. And I still contend, and even though a lot of people say, oh, you've got to get past it, the old stuff. Who wants to do that anymore? Well, who wants to do a bunch of jacked up stuff that don't reach anybody? And that's just my view on it. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's that's me.